I'm Mary Lou Hanner. I'm Terry Hatcher. And I'm James Denton. And we're really excited for you all to see our holiday movie, A Kiss Before Christmas, as part of the countdown to Christmas. I know. It's going to be so much fun. First of all, it's so good to see the two of you. I missed I you. Know. We were together for a few weeks, but I feel like I've got lifelong friends, and it's so wonderful to, to work with people that you've always admired. And then when you work with them, they turn out to be even better than you expected. So thank you for I that. We, we feel the same way. Exactly I, the I same feel way. the same way. I have some really great memories of our time together. I can't wow. wait to see you again in person. Yes. I know, I know. Yes. Terry and I, just for a little inside behind the scenes, she and I started to walk and walk and walk. And then 12 and a half miles later, it was like, well, maybe we should stop. You know, but it was <laughs> 12 and a half miles, one beer, and one apple cider later. <laughs> yeah. Well, that gave us the yeah. second half. That was pretty good. You almost walked back okay. to the States. You <laughs> I know. Well, we'll all have to get together in a little Christmas bra. Or whatever. Right. Um, okay. So now the Hallmark, you know, Hallmark viewers, it's like a family. And uh, they have sent a couple of questions that I'm going to ask you guys and answer some myself. And we have a couple of them. Um, so let's just get started. Okay. So everybody knows that the holidays are like the perfect time to reconnect with people that you love or people that you, you know, feel a certain way about. But it's obvious that the two of you love each other. So what was it like to reunite after all these years? Well, it's a crazy thing because it kind of felt like a lot of time had gone by and it kind of felt like it was yesterday. So is that, I think maybe that is the kind of feeling you have with really good friends or really good loved ones that you cannot see them for a long time. And then when you finally do, it's like no time has passed. And um, that's how I felt. Yeah, me too. And it was sort of the perfect vehicle just because of the storyline and us being married and um I don't know, well, you'll see when you watch the movie, but it's, it was the perfect vehicle for us to, and the Christmas uh, element also made it even better, more and special. And also the perfect vehicle to reunite, especially for fans of Desperate Housewives, because Mike and Susan did not get the ending that I think they deserved. <laughs> well, um, lying in your lap, bleeding out. Was yeah, not <laughs> that wasn't good. Dying in my lap wasn't no. the way we wanted it not to this go. Time. Not this time. <laughs> and not this time. So I think there'll be some real satisfaction in... Uh, for people that were fans of those characters um, to watch this. Absolutely. And the story is so crazy clever. I keep telling people it's a little of It's a Wonderful Life. It's a little bit of Peggy Sue Got Married. It's a little bit of, you know, so many of the great classic movies where, you know, two people, it's a little bit like Heaven Can Wait. So tell us a little bit, because Terry, this is, you are a Hallmark newbie. I mean, this was I am. fifth. I know that James, you, Jamie, you've done a bunch. So what was it like to do Hallmark and what drew you to this story, especially? Well, I, I mean, first and foremost, I guess it was him, you know, like he asked and I said, yes. <laughs> so it wasn't that, wasn't that complicated, but it really is a charming script. And um, I really like delving into just asking yourself, like, uh, you know, what is truly important in your life or, or at least like learning that lesson, you know, through whatever your journey is like learning what's really important to you. And that's what's happening in this movie. And we both get an opportunity to play characters that, you know, have a, have a part of telling that story. Um, uh, it's got the right amount of comedy, the right amount of heart. You know, I feel like there's laughs, there's tears, all oh, the yeah. things you really want in a classic Christmas movie. And, um, I mean, Hallmark's been incredibly welcoming. And I will say, after all the Christmas I saw everywhere on the set in this movie, <laughs> I, it, you'd be hard pressed to think that anyone does Christmas better than Hallmark. <laughs> nobody, nobody. It's fantastic. I mean, no, it's, it's really great. And Jamie, you were the executive producer on this. So this was kind of your baby. You know, yeah, yeah was one, of, one of a bunch. But yes, I had a lot of responsibility. Yeah. And sometimes actors will just be claim producer credit, you know, and just sort of be a name only. But this was a fun one. I learned a lot. I was involved in everything from the location scouting, casting and music spotting. And so it was really fun. My first task was to find the girl because we had this idea. And as you know, in the script, Joyce, Terry had to play two characters. She right. had to play my wife, who's a history teacher and a mom and a parent. And then in the, most of the movies, she had to play this high powered attorney who hates me that I'm trying to win back over. So it was tricky. You, it's the old, you got to find the girl. So yeah. when she agreed to do it, uh, we knew we had a movie. 
Uh, oh, absolutely. So and the two of you, you know, I always talk about actors getting something for free. The two of you get so much for free just as your individual selves as actors, but you also get so much for free just because of your relationship. So yeah, you believe that you're married. You believe that you didn't like him when you don't like have to like him, you know? Yep. And it was like, and what, what I loved is, you know, Terry's such a fabulous looking person. She uh, she was able to like play the mom with, as yep. a fabulous mom and then got to be like, you know, the pencil skirt of uh, high power. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's kind of a great character to play. It was yeah. fun. I, I did some ADR for the movie recently with, if you don't know what that is, it's where you have to, I mean, you know what it is. I mean, if the, <laughs> I, of course, Mary Lou, you know what it is, but the audience watching this, if you don't know what it is, you have to uh, re-record some of your lines that might've gotten, you know, by a helicopter or something, they weren't good. Anyway, so I got to see some of the movie on a screen and I was really um, happy with the the separation between the two Joyces. They really do feel different, but also like equally likable and equally real, but very different. And I, I was I was happy for how that ended up. Yeah, Me no, too. it, it was. Thrilled. Yeah, it was great. And what's funny is, I mean, I hate to say, you know, I, Jamie, I think of you, uh, we know each other because our kids went to the same school. So we knew each other a little bit that way. And when I read the script, I thought, is he that funny? Can he be that funny? And I'm so sorry that I be. you were so fabulous. And I just got to see pieces too from, you know, from doing ADR. And so that's really, really sweet of you. I really appreciate it because it is the character. It's a lot asked of that character. You know, mm -hmm. he gets to go yeah. through the paces, which is why I brought it and wanted to try to do it. And it's funny because I first got flown to LA way back in the nineties, first time to test for a sitcom that I didn't get that John Tenney got. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And so that was funny. before long before we met. So that's I actually, crazy. I actually came to LA doing comedy and then never really got to do it again. So yeah. it was fun to be able to get to do some of that. And that, and there, yeah, he really is. He's really funny in it. Oh, yeah. Both of you. I mean, I know you're funny from Spy Kids and everything else I've seen you do with Superman. <laughs> but no, no, no. I mean, not just Superman. Yeah. Okay. So tell, tell a little bit about the story so that it really like throws out the fishing line and people will be like hooked and definitely want to show up on November the 21st. Uh, it's November the, the 21st. Christmas. Yeah. Um, should I give it a shot? Please, yes. Okay. It's kind of hard. Can you please go? <laughs> okay, well, my, my version of it, the, the short, I guess the shortest answer is so um, J.D. plays a good man who's in a marriage and they, uh, they're they sort of a good, good family, but like struggling maybe with a little bit money issues, whatever. And he really feels like he starts to reflect back on his life and some choices that he made. And one choice in particular where he had an opportunity to do sort of a dirty deal at work that might have led him down a path where he would have been more financially successful. And he didn't do that because he's a good guy. But now, 20 years later, he's reflecting on maybe that was a mistake. Maybe if he'd done that thing, he would have more money, the life would be better. And he makes this wish to a Santa Claus who he thinks is just a store Santa Claus but it turns out to be a real magical Santa Claus. And he gets propelled into this new life where that's exactly what he did. He did the dirty deal. He never met his wife, so he never had his kids. He never had that life, but he drives a Ferrari. And uh, lives in a fabulous closet. Lives in a big, exactly, really beautiful suits, looking gorgeous, you know, but no wife, no kids and and then he realizes that, wow, this wasn't what I anticipated it would have been. But then the whole journey of the movie is him trying to get back to the family that he realizes he loves that now he's away from. Right, right, right. And I play I his that. boss. I play your boss. So yes. I get to like, we're speaking of, I'm kind of Miranda. Speak, speak of yes, your character, Rona, is sort of the a little bit of the moral center, you know, in yeah. the beginning. And it's funny because even in both realities, Rona, we kept saying this uh, in, in production meetings, Rona, you know, she is, she's solid. She's got this sort of moral compass and she's powerful. And when I found out that you were going to do it, I couldn't believe it because we had no idea what we were going to do for Rona. And so the yeah. fact that you were able to embody that and then just the, the, the end, you well, I don't ruin don't it. Give away the end. I don't give away the ending, but Rona's very pivotal. But you do yes. save the day. That, yes, that's yes. it. <laughs> and let's not forget anyway, that I look fabulous. I look fabulous through the whole movie. Just saying. You know, it's oh, kind of Miranda. Both realities. 
Yeah. Yes, both realities. <laughs> or your friend Vanessa Williams from, uh, you know, Ugly Betty. She sort of got. Oh, that yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. That's a good role model, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to play a game called This or That. Okay. okay. This or that. So I'm going to give you some choices. I love games. I'll weigh in on two, but we're going to uh, play this little game and you can pick and you can expand your answer, whatever you think. Okay. So here we go. All right. Decorate a Christmas yep. tree or share a kiss underneath the mistletoe. Oh, I would go with decorate a Christmas tree because it takes a really long time. And if you're, you're with, kissing the wrong people, if you're no, but I mean, if you're with, well, okay, well, I don't really have a person to kiss under the mistletoe. So I'll, that's why I'm picking the Christmas tree. How about that? <laughs> well, I always like the bossier task. So, you know, it would probably be my husband that I kiss under the mistletoe and I'm already bossy with him. So, but doing my Christmas tree, I would probably, you know, get to like, okay, let's do, you know, put music on and let's get these lights hung and let's do this. So I def I'm right there with you, Terry, decorated Christmas tree. <laughs> right, you, Jamie? Um, <laughs> yep. Um, I agree. It's more of a tradition. It's more fun. It lasts longer. I mean, a mistletoe kiss would be great, but yeah, the tradition would be decorating. Right. Okay. Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Hmm. Okay. Well, for me, uh, it's that's, that's go ahead, Perry. You go. No, I was going to say that's I really can't choose between because traditionally, for over a decade, I throw a really big Christmas Eve sit down dinner that I cook the entire dinner myself. I have twenty six people over. It's a beautiful table. We spend the whole evening together. We play white elephant game. Like it's a whole thing. So that I could never give up. But also Christmas morning is just my mom and dad and my daughter. And we open presents together. We wear the same uh, pajamas. We um, we have the champagne and caviar. We do that every, more, every Christmas morning. So I couldn't give either of them up. Okay. <laughs> what about you? I know, and they're so different. They're so different. They each have their own traditions. You know, the, the anticipation of the Christmas Eve and the candlelight service, or if you go maybe to a religious service or whatever, and then you, like my kids would open one present on Christmas Eve and that was it. So you had to pick one and that was, and then Christmas morning is Christmas morning. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not picking one. <laughs> I'm on a breath, yeah. Well, my family gets together. It's the only, there are six brothers and sisters and it's the only time we all get together. And it's always between 28 and 42 people for the week. And oh. we do everything from like scavenger hunts to, you know, uh, uh, football games, flag football games, to taking over a dancing studio, to like a, a food crawl that we do. We pick a different cuisine, type of cuisine, and go to like four to eight restaurants. So the whole week is That's like that. Amazing. But every day with the intimate family is, and my sister and her kids, is Christmas morning. And then Christmas night, we do our secret Santa, which is a big, big thing. So oh, wow. Wow. That kind of thing. Oh, it yeah, sounds like it sounds like all three of us need both days. <laughs> we need both. We need a week. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For Stretch sure. it out. Okay, hot cocoa or Christmas cookies? Definitely cookies. Yes, me too. Easy. As Just long as they're vegan and gluten free, I'm in. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. I know. I know. I'll I'm take all your sugar and butter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like waitress. Um, okay, white elephant gift exchange or secret Santa? Well, we've, Mine's definitely secret Santa. Yeah. Oh, we've done white elephant for a long time. In fact, last year was the first year I hadn't had, didn't do the Christmas Eve thing because of COVID. But I went around and all the people that normally participate in this evening, everybody bought a present anyway. And, and I picked them all up and then we did the white elephant virtually on Christmas Eve. So at oh, least nice. just had that little bit, it was still fun. Yeah. yeah I like great. white elephant too. It's, I guess it's so much fun. Mm. You know, it's, it's more of a game. Yeah. I never yeah. end up with anything good. So, <laughs> you know, that's cause you're like, like a swizzle stick. Like I am, you know, you have to like make sure everybody else is taken care of. Well, that's so okay. Too. Yeah. That's you too. Yeah. yeah. Then it's, it's, it's more like the doing and the having fun. We also do a game night, which is insane. In fact, somebody ended up in the emergency room. And to this day, we will not do boys against the girls ever again. We have different types of teams. So just saying, that's um, my there's a story there. There's a story there. <laughs> no boys against the girls. And we're not like, you know, whatever. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Family picture with Santa or matching pajamas. Matching pajamas. 
Yeah, matching. one year we did matching those uh, long johns that are red that have the flap in the back so you can go to the bathroom. <laughs> Everybody wore those ridiculous things. So I've actually done that. Yeah, yeah that's great. Okay. All right. Um, go ice skating or take a stroll looking at Christmas lights. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, um, I would take a stroll looking at Christmas lights because the last time I went ice skating, I fell on my head and almost killed myself. <laughs> Oh, no. And when I was a child, actually, ice skating, I fell on my face and I knocked this front tooth out. So this oh is fake. Yeah. Oh, my wow. God. Yeah. Okay. No ice skating. ice skating for you. No right. ice skating for me. Yeah. Oh, God, Sometimes so I dream that I'm able to ice skate. It's like a thing. <laughs> it seems like a really great thing to do if you do it well. But I think I think my ice skating days are over. There was an ice skating scene in this movie originally, and it got cut because I can't ice skate. <laughs> I thought it was not cut no, because I can't no. ice skate. Oh, so okay. I would definitely go look at Christmas lights because I grew up in Tennessee. We didn't have any ice. Yeah. Oh. Right. Do you school. guys ski? Would you? Did, I mean, I grew up in Chicago, so we didn't ski. More ice. Skating, I do but. ski. I do ski. Yeah. I mean, I grew up okay. skiing, but I don't. I don't really ski that much recently. But I do ski. Yeah. yeah. And I like that. I like being outside. I like the snow. My family. You know, I grew up in Chicago, and my family had. Uh, it was probably I don't know, maybe twelve or ten feet by twelve feet, where you know you could like put two cars. It was right before you to the garage, which was a dancing studio, so it wasn't a garage. And my <laughs> uncle used to freeze it over, but you'd go like, <laughs> then you were across, <laughs> across. <laughs> so you never got to <laughs> ski. You never got to skate, but it was like, frozen and you lace up and keys and everything was like, <laughs> across. <laughs> so <laughs> I like the noise. Yeah. yeah. That's what it sounded like, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, what else could we tell um, the you know the viewers, the future viewers on November the twenty first, uh, a kiss before Christmas? What can what else can we tell them about our show? And what else? Oh, we can tell them about live tweeting because we can all live tweet that at that time. God, I've never done that. I don't know. I don't know about that. Do you do that? No, I've never done it. No. I've never done oh, it. Either. It's fun. You know what you have to do? Well, you te you tell them they like the behind the scenes stuff. So you're like, right. okay, what did you think of that? Or what did you think of this? And hey, look up. Or oh, that day it was crazy. It was raining. Or we had hail. You know, it's a little bit behind the scenes things. Oh, you know? that's that's cool. Oh yeah. Just, well, I'm happy to answer questions. I'll have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really fun. So we'll we'll I'll walk you through it. Yeah. We'll uh, be out oh, good. It. Well. So anything uh, else you guys want to tell our our viewers? No, I mean, I, I don't think so. I think that pretty well covers it. I'm just yeah. really glad that everybody joined us for this conversation. And I hope that you all watch A Kiss Before Christmas and you enjoy it as much as we, uh, as we did make it. Absolutely. It. Sunday, yeah. November 21st. I know. And you, I mean, the little I got to see of the film because of ADR, you know, uh, doing yeah. the looping and stuff. And it's funny when you go to ADR, if you haven't seen the film, you're like, oh, too bad the sound was so good in the scene I really wanted to look at. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, I'm excited but, to see the movie all from from the beginning to the end, yeah. with when it's yeah. all fully finished. Yeah, yeah, it's. I mean, there's so many wonderful scenes in it, and you two, the chemistry just jumps off the page, and I'm sure people are going to be like, you know, it's been a big event. Everybody wants to talk about this, and I think this uh, is really high on Hallmark's list because of the two of you. And you know, um, and, and, well, that's, well, that's really sweet. Well, yeah. we're just excited that everybody. Yeah. Everybody in it did such a great job. I think yeah. people are really going to enjoy it. So I hope you do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Tune in. It's really yes. important. Yes. Yep. November the 21st. November yes. the 21st. <laughs> Countdown yeah. to Christmas. And it kicks off the Thanksgiving week. So that's even better. Ah, uh, yes. yeah. 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 Absolutely. Thanks for doing this. Okay.